Hi, Sue. How are you doing? Hi. Just give us your, your thoughts on the move in why Rangers was an attraction for you. Um, no, nah, uh, I think it speaks for itself. Uh, Rangers, of course, is a, is a massive club. Uh, the history is known. Um, the stadium, the fans, uh, the, the, even the city, everything is amazing. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, of course, I, I spoke with, uh, with the manager as well. He spoke about what's going on now. Uh, the, after after uh, not such an easy season, there, there is a new win now in the club and I want to be a part of that. The previous striker who was at Rangers, Alfredo Morelos, had become very popular with the Rangers supporters. He scored a number of goals at the club. Are you confident that you can fill the void left by Alfredo and strike a similar relationship with the supporters? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, Alfredo did, did amazing things uh, for Rangers and at Ibrox. Um, so it's 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 never easy to come after a good striker like he was. But on the other side, I I I cannot look at the past. Uh, I'm only here for the present and, and for the future. And uh, I hope to do to do some nice things, to do some good things for Rangers as well. And I hope uh, I can I can build a similar relationship with the fans. But uh, that will depend on on our relationship and on on the things I do on the on the pitch and off the pitch. So uh, I'm confident that that that, that could work. Hi, Theo, how are you doing? Um, you probably don't need me to tell you that you're joining a, a massive football club with huge expectations. Um, it's probably not too far a stretch to say that any season where Rangers don't win a trophy is considered a big disappointment by the supporters. How do you believe you've got the, the game, the attributes and also the mentality to embrace this new challenge that you've got ahead of you? Yeah, obviously I'm 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 at a good age right now. 28 is a perfect age where you have like uh, physically you're still at your top level and uh, you gain some experience uh, from the last years. Um, so I think that's that's a perfect time to to play for trophies and to hopefully win some trophies. And uh, of course the the mentality of 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 Rangers and and which is present at this moment already in the team is clear, and and it's clear that I want to be a part of that. And uh, I think I can bring some things not only like uh, football-wise, but also mentality-wise in, in, in the locker room. And, and I hope that, that I can play a role as well in that. And uh, just, just a follow-up question. I'm, I'm not sure if you know who this is, but the former Celtic manager, Neil Lennon, was on um, radio in Scotland yesterday saying that uh, you were on his radar a few years ago. He was looking at you. Did you know anything about that at the time? Uh, no, I didn't know that, uh, about that at that time. Uh, I, I I spoke a couple of times with Rangers in the in the past years, and they're always the contact always has been close. Uh, so I'm happy to finally be here now. Uh, finally, it's possible. It was possible to make a deal uh, and to to arrive here. So I'm I'm very happy with that. And uh, yeah, of course, it's it's uh, if you score goals, you probably will be on 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 some clubs uh, their radar. But uh, yeah. For me, that's that's not a real issue, and and I'm 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 fine with being here, and really happy to be here. Hi, Sal. You, you talked there about having interest in the past from Rangers. Can you talk a little bit more about, about when that was and how far that went? Uh, I don't know how much I can say about this because it's it's pretty private, of course. Uh, but I think uh, the first contact was after uh, I became top scorer in the Eredivisie. Uh, was during COVID, so it was a difficult time for 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 a lot of clubs to 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 make deals. Uh, and after that, the contact always always was there, like uh, not always in in form of an offer, but there was always like. Uh, some informing on, on both sides and just some, some casual conversations. Just for this follow-up question, I mean, strikers are, are always judged on, on goals. I'm sure you've got your target of what you want, but you mentioned about being a complete striker. What else can you bring to Rangers other than goals in terms of link-up play, pressing and stuff like that? Uh, first of all, I don't really have a, a target uh, in, in, in uh, regarding goals. Uh, I, have, I have targets in regarding team uh, team uh, achievements. Um, but of course, like I said, like I, I think I can offer more than goals, and uh, I think I showed that in the in the last years. I think I can I can be important uh, off the ball, uh, meaning uh, in impressing the other team, recovering balls high up the pitch, and then uh, relaunch a, a counter attack. But I think I can do. 
in, in, in when we have the ball, I think I can do also uh, multiple things. Like I can play with the back to the goal, play in short combinations. Uh, uh, I can I can go deep. I think I'm best when I'm faced uh, when I'm facing the goal. Uh, so I think that's that's our various attributes that that can benefit the team. Hi, Cyril. Just wondering what kind of interest you had from other clubs before you came to Rangers, <laughs> and what was the biggest attraction of coming to to Ibrox? Uh, I think I think it's not easy to to just uh, call the names of clubs that informed with me this summer. Uh, I don't know if they will be happy if I do that. Uh, of course, I had some options to to stay in Italy. Um, there were also some other options again in Belgium and in Netherlands, but uh, I'm not. I'm not. Not. I don't think it's smart to to name the names the the clubs here. Uh, on the other side, like I said before, Rangers is 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 massive, and and I like what is happening here. Uh, and in that part, yeah, the, the the group, the players that are already here present, and and the manager who has who has a really good idea of what he wants uh, on and off the pitch, is is fundamental for me, and and that's. Why I made the choice. Uh, I looked at the training ground. I look at the stadium. I look at how uh, the club wants to work very professionally, uh, and and that's something I was looking for. So uh, then it was a pretty easy choice, actually. I'm not sure what success you've had in the past in terms of trophies and medals, but how important was the chance to win trophies and medals at Ibrox and your your decision to sign for Rangers? Um. Uh, I've, 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 I've won the cup in Belgium, uh, but of course I want more. And that's obviously one of the reasons why I came to Rangers. Uh, we won't get anything for free. Uh, that's clear. Um, but but uh, that's that's a nice challenge. And uh, we want to go and I want to win trophies here uh, together with, with the boys. And uh, yeah, I think I think this is an, an amazing club to be at. And, and especially if you could win a title or a cup here, I think uh, yeah, that will be something that you will never forget for the rest of your life. Hi Cyril, um, could you tell us about your, your time in Italy? Did you, did you feel like that made you, made you a better player? Was it a different maybe style of football or challenge to what you've been used to? Um, yeah, of course, it, it made me a better player. Uh, I've, I've been dreaming about uh, playing in a top five league since, since I was a kid actually and, and to finally be there, witness it. Uh, be part of that was 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 amazing and, and and I learned a lot there when you play against some of the best defenders in the world yeah you 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 learn how to use your body uh, play smarter play faster all of that and and on top of the experience I had from Belgium and Netherlands uh, I think that made me a more complete football player and, and I hope I can convert it and show it to the Scottish League as well uh, and 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 yeah get firing again and would you say, if you described yourself, would you say you prefer to to play with a partner? I know Rangers have, have brought in Sam Lammers and Abdila Sima. Is that what you would prefer, or are you happier maybe playing up front on your own, or, or do you not mind? Uh, I think I'm 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 pretty flexible in that, but uh, I think it's it's. I think it's it's more than just playing with a partner. I think football is is more compli more, more complicated than that. I think. Uh, Football is so fluid nowadays. You don't really work with like formations. Like we play this system or this system. I think it's more about principles. And I think what's clear with us, we have a lot of of, of good players also who can play around the strikers. And I'm speaking about midfielders, wingers, uh, um, second strikers. So, and I think I think that can work with with all of them. Of course, they are quality players. So then it's then it's a lot easier to find each other and to adapt to each other. So I think. With actually either of the names you you just mentioned, I think that could click very well and 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 that could work definitely.